Uh, what's up, guys? Yeah. This is Avril Bum or Cat from This Man, is or... Griggle. Griggle and... Griggle 9. And we are doing a Let's Play 100%, whatever you, uh, Elix suggested, on a <laughs> Spyro. We're gonna get as far as we can. Yeah, basically as far as we can possibly go for um, um, things. All hell breaks loose. <laughs> for, oh, yeah. So we're gonna do like an empty game. I guess I can choose the, the tiger since she's a pimp. <laughs> He's a pimp on this game. He, he, he gets the ladies, man. <laughs> An evil plot unfolds. Yeah. They all snoring like little pussies. Whoa, how vague can you get? to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, another cutscene. I forgot about this. Desperate Rescue Begins. <laughs> Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. It's just funny how they hmm. don't really have an objective or anything. It's just bring all the eggs back. What about all the dragons? No, just the eggs. Oh, okay. So why is Twickerbell here? Shouldn't she be helping Peter Pan? Hey, 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 well, and then you ask the same Honestly. question, you ask the same question, why is Sparks here? Shouldn't Sparks be helping <laughs> Peter Dragon? <laughs> so there we go, we got the... I guess. <laughs> our first home. There was a Peter Dragon? There was a Peter Dragon. He would have legs instead of fours and whatnot. So we're like, we're like on the first one a right A bipedal now. dragon? Exactly. With two legs? <laughs> a bunch of legs. God, wow. So we're on the first home. This is our first home, I think. And um, the easy part about home is that you always seem to find things really early, such as the first egg, for example, which is Elizabeth. I almost said Elizabeth. That was weird. Uh, it's probably a name. Elizabeth. Elizabonies. Isabel. Exactly. Elizabeth. Elizabonies. <laughs> and the. In America, we 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 make Lizabels, and this is the first. In America, we make bronies. <laughs> that may be true. <laughs> All right, so it's oh, always yes. just showing me how to rotate the camera, L1 to center camera, and triangle. And these are like the main controls from the last two freaking Spyro games. And now here comes the. E. Honestly, like, why would you play the third game if you haven't played the first two? 
Yeah, this so, is just I guess it, this is just for people who skipped it though. I'm just saying. <laughs> Noobs. Noobs. <laughs> so this is the first evil character, uh, Bianca. She has a black person's name. <laughs> yeah, she has to say she's evil in order for her to be evil. She doesn't even look evil just by looking at her. So basically, she's just telling. She's just trying to give you a little, little, trying to scare you off, saying that you don't collect all the eggs, or else I'm going. You'll be sorry. I'm going to eat your face off and whatnot. And <laughs> no. Oh, thanks for telling me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Yeah, basically, <laughs> like, don't go through portals that are all closed down that obviously I can enter by just collecting a good amount of treasure and eggs. <laughs> obviously, these, this is this is why they're rated E, you know, teach you certain things and yeah. whatnot. But other than that, we want first thing we want to do is um basically collect all the treasure since it's hundred <laughs> percent. And the yeah. annoying part about Spyro games is that you can easily miss a treasure. Yeah, I, I, I it gets frustrating. I mean, you 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 need more than four eyes to to, to not know if you missed a treasure or not. I mean, it's freaking mm -hmm. freaking tough at times. But at the same time, I mean, hey, if you if you know what, if you don't backtrack too much, then at least you know. Um, not to miss a level, but anyway, yeah, we we meet certain characters like Zoe again. We, hey, I didn't I just meet you? Oh, game passive and active mm. mode. You know what? Yeah, I just I just want passive. I don't know. I really don't know the difference. I see an. I see an. What's the difference between active and passive? Passive. Let's see. Um. Passive has a. It's more like moving around, and uh, the active is just pretty much, uh, let's just say the active is, uh, well, no, 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 it's reverse, my bad. Passive, you don't, you don't, you basically move the camera uh, on your own, manually, you know, with uh, R2 and L2, right? Yeah. And um, active mode. Active mode is basically what I'm doing right now. I'm not even moving the camera. I'm basically so the camera has a mind of its own. Yeah, yeah, it's automatic uh, moving the camera. Every time you move the character, the camera moves on its own, and it saves the trouble. It saves the trouble of you um, actually uh, doing um, R2 and L2 a lot. But anyway, since this is um, Spyro 3, um, we can now swim, which is great because I I used to hate drowning a lot on Spyro 1. <laughs> Mm. And like literally drowning, like you couldn't do anything. I'm like running myself in the dirt. Yeah, but now we have to go through all this crazy collecting. That's just what Spyro is. Underwater. Exactly. That's just how Spyro it is. Doing all these freaking collecting, and every time, um, let's see, what's her face? Zoe. She um. Every time she zaps me, which is funny, because usually it would be like, oh no, she's actually giving me magical powers. No, she's just basically um. Uh, save saving uh, my data every time uh, yeah. she, she zaps me. So that's, I guess that's all the treasure in the water. Um, mm -hmm. Main thing we're what we're doing though is basically trying to 100% 100% the the home world, which is pretty short. Um, let's see, I, I went back and skipped one place. Oh, you no, know, how do I can get there? Oh, we just go up here. Dude. And then there's Mr. Tiger Guy teaching me how to uh, fly. I just, found... I just found those portal thingamajiggers. Press X to jump and do it again. So basically, if you want to fly, all you have to do is jump twice. Or just basically jump at the top of your jump and press X again. Um, you can also do a little... Shouldn't you know how to jump? Shouldn't you know how to fly since the second or first game? Exactly. That's what I'm wondering. Like, like the, uh, Of course, you, you were able to fly in the first game, right? Yeah. I saw something. Yeah. And you just, have wings, you don't know how to fly. Like, you have how wings. How do you forget that? You have wings, you know how to fly. It's pretty easy. Oh, come on. Oh. Just let me do stuff. Almost yeah, forgot. You, uh, you drink Red Bull. That's how you get wings. In Spiral Land, there's no such thing as Red Bull. Instead, you get yeah, uh, you get amazing tutorials and hints from animals across the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems as if you're drinking a little bit too much Red Bull. 
<laughs> yeah. Whoa, what the hell happened here? <laughs> but hey, it's true. <laughs> what? Alright, so there's a. Yes, drink responsibly, people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink too much, or else you'll get cancer. <laughs> oh. No, nah, that's, that's at least you were trying to actually. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was like, uh, I mentioned, did I mention that I'm Spyro the Dragon and I'm immune to cancer? Why? Because I'm an infinite red bull. A purple <laughs> infinite red bull. So I'll be like an infinite grape drink or something. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah, you can't become sober. You, you're just, you have to too much. It's contaminated by your red bull. Contaminate. <laughs> it's contaminated. It's like you're, you're, it's like you have red bull for blood. Exactly. <laughs> Red Bull. It's kind of like it. It's kind of like how in the um, Gatorade commercials, you sweat in colors. You sweat <laughs> Gatorade. <laughs> you sweat in lots of magical paint. It's it's great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. I always miss something on this game. Head bash the rock. Food coloring paint. Food <laughs> coloring. <laughs> it would be. It would be that. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so head bash a freaking rock. What rock would that be? I just remember playing this game too, and I, I don't remember which rock I bashed. <laughs> I just ah. did it. I just did it too on a on a stream, and I and I rem I went ah. through like everything. Let's see. Well, I don't. I didn't beat the whole game. No, I definitely no. Oh, I, I used to collect a lot of things, especially in uh, you know, Banjo Kazooie. Oh. Especially Banjo. You know, it gets really annoying, and you forget, you don't know where, how to even get to this, you know, the next jiggy, or how do you find the next note. Yeah, that's true, true. Especially the original, because there are only single notes in the first game. Just single um, notes. And in the sequel, you have these, like, these note baskets. Kind of, that would nest in a way. There's too many. So you play it's five at a time. Yeah. But all in all, pretty good, pretty good game overall. Hope to do yeah. that game. Hope that to to do that game next. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it because I actually you're have a game. You better do it. Well, I know if I, I don't know if I still have my my X N sixty four. So I have to check that. Uh, um, like you must do it. So. Oh God, I'm missing something. Why? Why do I miss lots of things? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> No. And every time I miss like at least one jewel, I always seem uh, to have to backtrack and like look for it. And the sucky part is, this is this is what happens when you speed speed too fast on certain places. You miss crap, and that's one thing you can easily do on Spyro, which is not which is not a bad yeah, thing. Oh my miss god! Miss crap and you get crap. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, just one more, just one more. Where is that single digit? Or the green gem, actually, is what I... Oh, I think that's one thing I don't like. Is that certain jewels can camouflage on certain places of this game. You can easily... Because the it's always green, and then there's also green jewels. Yeah, like, what if there was a purple surface, and then there's like, oh, you're getting a five. <laughs> no. I miss the all. So I'm like already wasting time on this playthrough just because it's like just one jewel, and I already knew it was gonna happen. This is the first area. Shut up. <laughs> it's supposed to be like, like, like that. You know, you get through it quickly, but. Well, that's why backtracking is an option on this game. Otherwise, if they wouldn't let you go back to certain places, you would have never passed this game. Oh my god, right there. Oh my god, I'm so glad oh. I, I checked this with 400. All right, there we go. So that's and that wasn't even in the green area. <laughs> was it even? <laughs> I just, that was in the middle of this cave. I just have to have a purple floor, I guess. Exactly.